I'm often seen as an eccentric in what I do and there's all sorts of comments. People ask if we can chuck a wheelie and what's the weather up there and all the usual sort of comments that you get every day. I'm Dan Bowell, I build penny farthings for a living. Well, I first discovered penny farthings when I was a kid and I read about the history of the bicycle in the encyclopedia. I started building penny farthing bicycles in my mid-twenties and I grew up in a little country town where I didn't necessarily get access to the world. I left school early and I was very creative and very good with metals. My part-time job when I was back on the farm as a teenager was in an engineering shop and we did all sorts of weird and wonderful things and worked with different metals. I produce a new one around about every 10 to 12 days or so, ready to go, ready to roll out, and I'm working on maybe five or six at a time. It's a constant process. They're not shaped like that for fashion or beauty. They're shaped like that out of pure purpose, and that's how I started building with that in mind, that idea that these needed to be made properly to work and function properly. There's a step down the backbone just above the rear wheel. You put one foot on that and the other foot on the ground and you push along and scoot along and then you step up onto the seat and then you pedal the pedals. A standard bike you sit around about waist height, where up around chest height is where the seat is. It's not a lot higher but it feels abstract and it feels different. Once you get used to that, it actually just feels like a normal bicycle and you just pedal it and you ride it and everything you can do on a normal bike, a road bike, we do on a penny farthing. One turn of the pedals means one turn of the wheel. So you're connected to that wheel so pure. It's almost like running and it's that pure form and that mindfulness of being connected to something, but you're capable of high speeds. The tour is always so much fun. It's a week long adventure. This year we did a thousand kilometres around Western Victoria and there were 10 riders come along. There was riders from parks through to Brisbane and all over Australia. Seeing 10 penny farthings ride through town on something like the tour is quite an abstract thing to see. People sometimes clap, which for us that seems a little obscure because we're just riding our bike and we're just doing what we do, but to them they're excited. Even though there's 10 of us riding together, at times we get to ride alone. The penny farthing is completely silent. There's no chain, there's no moving parts. And you sit up there and it's quiet on the road and you can be in the middle of nowhere riding this bike along at 25, 30 kilometres an hour in complete silence and it's just so beautiful. It's really good fun to see a, a grown adult just beaming with excitement and fun and happiness. Thank you.